Daryl, well, just fresh off victory over Darius Labanowskis here at the Lakeside. Um, game of two halves, bit of a cliche, but uh, how do you feel after that one? Well, I think I, I, my nickname should be Lucky D, I think. Um, Darius was awesome in the first half. My darts were falling underneath the treble, and I was searching for him all the time. Of the two previous games over me, cover shots were brilliant. They weren't going in, I was getting a bit frustrated. I started getting hot on the stage, and, well, say, say, tale of two halves. Uh, came back and had a word with uh, Al in the interval. He was in that little room on the top shelf. I had a quick talk to Al, a few gulps of my beer, the only beer I've had today, I'd say, and then come on, bit of, like, give me a bit of uh, hope and aggression. So I thought my, my friends have come all the way down to watch me and I'm playing like that. So bank holiday, they could be at home with the families and doing something. So I dug in, dug deep. I can do that now and again. So. Yeah, because it was 5-2 at the break. Could have been 6-2 when he missed the double and you had that 106. Obviously, the five going in first start wasn't ideal. And then you went on a run, those four legs in a row, breaking him again in 11. Yeah. And at what point did you actually feel you were going to walk off the winner on that stage? I think when I got to 7-6, uh, that was when I thought I'd done him. Because I kicked off that leg with a 177. He, Darius had a 137, I had a 177, then a 60 and a 58, and, and I was hoping they went in. So I thought, the last leg, I've just got to make them go in. Last leg kicked off with a 180 again, and Darius's head dropped. I saw his head drop, so I thought, right, now I'd relax a little bit, because I was so nervous out there. So. But he's played brilliant this weekend, really good. He's, I've always noticed he's been a, he, he could be a world-class player, and it's shown it last couple of months he's been brilliant. brilliant so. To yeah. me, to me, he was the best player here this week. Glenn, he beat Glenn Durant 7-3. That's tough to beat Glenn 7-3. So. But, um, onwards and upwards. Um, semi-finals now. Shame it's not the semi-final at Lakeside. That means I'm there next year then. So, so. Yeah, because you've got the winner now of the game just starting behind us there, Mark McGinney and Jamie Hughes. Um, any preference or does it not matter to you at this point? No, it doesn't matter. Me and Mark play on the same uh, Tuesday night team, the Armory in Stockport. So it's weird that we, you know, we could play each other. Jamie's another, he's a great player and a really nice lad. So I, we, we get on well with both of them. Um, no matter who it is, I, I want to win. So, you know. No preference, really. So. Okay, well, best of luck in the next round. You can have another chat to Al now, yeah, and uh, hopefully talk to you later right, on. You. Good luck. Yeah.